has had a few one-term presidents, but none of them got more done than James Knox Polk. Polk was born in 1795 in North Carolina, but ended up in Tennessee, which was Andrew Jackson country. As a Speaker of the House, Polk was a big help to Presidents Jackson and Van Buren. In 1844, he was the Democratic's compromise candidate for president. He promised to expand American territory to the West and fulfill the belief of manifest destiny, and he made Southern voters happy by not speaking out against slavery. And boy, did he deliver. Polk wasn't a big personality, but he might have been the most hands-on president ever, personally overseeing a bunch of federal departments. His team negotiated with Britain to get exclusive rights to the Oregon Territory, and then he ran a war. Texas was once part of Mexico, but it joined the U.S. in 1845. After some skirmishes on the Texas-Mexico border, Polk and Congress launched the Mexican-American War. Two years later, America had won most of modern California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Arizona. All that new land caused problems. Northerners wanted it to be free soil, while Southerners wanted it to be slave territory. But that was someone else's problem. Polk stepped aside in 1848, and he died of illness a few months after leaving office.